You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face here who is a community activist, I would say extraordinaire, <laughs> Lynn Smith. Lynn, welcome back to Greater Brockton. Thank you so it, much. It's Good been to a long see time you. Since it's been, been a long time. time. <laughs> um, now you're putting on your community hat. Mm -hmm. You are a volunteer. You work with other volunteers. You care about the community of Brockton. You're involved both with the Keith Park Neighborhood Association, the Frederick Douglass um, Association, Neighborhood mm -hmm. Association as well. You're helping other people to form other associations. Mm -hmm. But it is that time of year. Spring is here, I hope. <laughs> I, I am telling you, we have had a tough, tough march, haven't we? Mm -hmm. But I think it's time for the Easter Bunny. Okay. The Easter Bunny, uh, the groundhog was completely wrong, so we're pushing him aside. The Easter Bunny is coming here on March 31st, which is a Saturday, to the Fruth Center Gym, which is behind the Lutheran th Church. Church, right. Okay. Um, it's The Fruth Center is like a, a, an auditorium, gymnasium, okay. you know, community center. And you're going to have, you learn, it's an Easter egg hunt inside. Yeah, you know, we, obviously the Keith Park Neighborhood Association, we promote activities in Keith Park, but Easter and Passover right. is very early this year, yes, isn't it? it? Is. It's yeah. April Fool's Day. And yes, it is. So it's kind of chilly for the kiddos to be out, and it might be wet. So this is our fifth annual mm -hmm. Keith Park Neighborhood Association Easter egg hunt, and we're going to do it inside at the Fruit Gym. If you know where the Cape Cod Cafe and the Campello Fire Station and the Old St. Margaret's and First Evangelical and Emmanuel House is, it's right in that location. If you're a GPS person, it's 891 Montello um, Street. And the parents love it, Mark, because we have this down to a science. Mm -hmm. From the time you bring your little kiddo in, up to about age 12, then from 12 on, they don't kind of mm -hmm. don't want to do it. It's like clockwork. You check in, you go over to the arts and crafts table. We're making bunnies and swans this year. Mm. So you get to make something to take home or you can make a card. Then you go over to the egg and spoon race and you try your hand at running the length of the gym with the Easter egg in your spoon. Okay. Then because you're indoors, you really can't hide the eggs. So what you have to do is get five eggs, one of each color. Mm -hmm. Then when you get your five eggs, you go over to the Easter Bunny. This is our Easter Bunny's fourth year mm -hmm. coming back to the Fruit Center Gym. And you get a free uh, photo with the Easter Bunny. And then you go over, your last stop is to the Bunny Bag Table. Mm -hmm. And thanks to our great sponsors, I mean, Ocean Spray sends us craisins every year. Vincentes gives us Capri Suns. And then we have people like Jerry Cassidy, Michelle Dubois, Steve Hook, Joyce Asak, Kathy Rose, um, Cindy Gray, Ellie Wentworth, Jeannie Kickling, even my sister Kathy this year um, chipped in a little do re me. And I see Ray Henningsen. And too. Ray Henningsen too. And I had them all over at my house on Sunday, and we were like the I Love Lucy episode, with you know, candy. with the, <laughs> with the there conveyor you go. There you go. And we filled up all the. Last year we had 180 kids, so we prepared for 200 kids. Mm -hmm. um, this this year so you know youngsters that age their attention span is a little bit low mm -hmm. so we try to get them in so march 31st one o'clock the door opens plan about 45 minutes to go through the circuit and off the kiddos will go with their bunny bag uh, of treats information is on our facebook page cape keith park neighborhood association or our website, which is kpnabrockton.weebly.com, because Weebly is a free um, hosting site. So it's just another way to build community in Campello and for families to, to meet each other and learn and each other. And look for the bunny with the glasses. And look like for the, the bunny logo. with the glasses. And we have a great guy, Kenny, well, I shouldn't, well, we have a great Easter bunny, and he's so good with the kids. And, you know, some of them squirm, and he's very good about holding them. So it's that, a fun, fun time. That's a tough job. At least you don't have to get to pull the beard. That's right. right? Absolutely so not. So that is in the end of March, the, the 31st, right uh, Right around the day the day before Easter. And mm -hmm. Passover starts the night before. And it's, But you know what? It doesn't matter. Candy is candy and Easter bunnies. I, I, I had a bunny as a pet. Yeah. My favorite pet that I ever had in my entire life. 
So. But do you have a day of fasting as part of no, Passover? No, not for Passover. Okay. What, what you can't do on Passover is you can't eat any leavened bread. Oh, that's what it is. So okay. you can't, you, and you can't drink beer because beer has ingredients yep. that are banned. Pops, so, yeah. But uh, candy, as long as there's a U or a K symbol on it, we're good. All right. Okay, so good. we're going to go into April. And it's a big event that's coming up on Thursday, April 12th. We have Frederick Douglass coming to visit Brockton. Right. You know, this is the 200th anniversary of the birth of Frederick Douglass. He was born in 1818. He himself picked the day of February 14th because he said his mother, who was a slave, called him her little Valentine. So he was born 200 years ago. And, you know, it's amazing his writings and his sayings and the efforts that he made towards civil liberties and towards, towards equality resonate even today. So Brockton has joined the Douglas Bicentennial community. We have joined cities like New Bedford, where Douglas lived, Lynn, where he lived, Rochester, New York, where he lived, Washington, D.C., where he lived, Paris, France, Glasgow, Scotland, Dublin, Mm -hmm. to celebrate the bicentennial. We'll be doing events all year. One of them is our traveling exhibit, which is gotta, in the post office now. Got to commend you for that. I go to the post office every day to get the mail. It looks great there. It looked great at City Hall. We did a nice feature, Jay Miller, yep. with our crew, did Wonderful. a nice feature. And, you know, to keep, I, I, I tell my students in my speech class about looking back and having people to inspire them and take quotes from mm -hmm. them. And Frederick Douglass is mm -hmm. certainly one of them. You know, people think Martin Luther King up front and, and more modern day contemporaries. You can learn a lot about Fre Frederick Douglass. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, the president believes he's alive, right? <laughs> yeah. right? He's doing wonderful things. He's pretty things. good at 200 he's years. He's doing wonderful but, things. But there'll be someone there to be Frederick Douglass. Well, and we have a scholar and an actor coming all the way from Arkansas. His name is Charles Everett Pace. He has done his life's work as Frederick Douglass. So he will do his one-man show. And then, at the end, he opens it up for question and answers. And then we have a light social, thanks to the lovely ladies at um, Psi Auto Omega of Alpha Kappa Alpha. Uh, they have hosted the refreshments. And that way, we'll have a chance to share community. So this is not for young children. This is more for high school um, age um, kids, I would say. But April 12th, 7 o'clock. Now, it's free because of our sponsors, the Ju Just Checking In, Brockton Housing, Eastern Bank, Harbor One, Representative Cassidy, Representative Cronin, and Cy Iota Omega. But you know, the War Memorial Auditorium on West Elm doesn't hold a lot of people. Right. So we're begging people to RSVP to FDNA for Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association, so FDNA Brockton at gmail.com just so that we have a count, because if we go over the legal fire limit, we yes, have to right. say sold out. And we're not, we're not going to tell them we're going there. We're going to bring the camera, mm -hmm. but it's better to experience in person. And right now it's open, so make sure you... you I, make I, you, sure I you, you RSVP. I saw you begging people on Facebook, so just yeah. RSVP. People don't do that nowadays, and they take it for granted. So this is great, Lynn. We're going to follow it over there. We're going to continue to cover it, and we're looking forward to more events during this Absolutely. We'll do our reading. We'll do our summer Sunday in social garden. in yep. the garden. We'll do our plant and seed swap, but all to honor Mr. Douglas and his work and the work of other civil rights activists during this bicentennial year. And, and Brockton was one of the, the hot spots. Absolutely. Edward Bennett. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.